Hi, this is Echo X. I'm um, going to go over today, got my little list, looping through controls and forms and how to load and unload forms properly. That's going to be showing how to set an object to equal nothing. Um, so we're going to do is start off with the standard EXE. Hit OK. The first thing we're going to do is go to View, Code. And we're going to start with Form Load. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to use your declare statement. And what you're going to want to do to declare is a control. Um, so prefix would be CTL. Um, then we can say each control for now as control. Now, to loop through it, see if you want to find, let's create a control real quick because we don't have any controls. All we have is a form. A form is not a control, so control is any of these things over here um, on the left toolbox. Anything that you add. <coughs> Sorry, a little stuff in my throat this morning. So here we have command one. Uh, show, let's make, go ahead and make command two. Okay. So now we go do here is loop through each, but we're going to use for each. So loop through all controls in this form. That's what this does. Let's go for each control in controls. Now that's what that is, is it's looking at controls within this form. We'll go next. If control each dot name equals command one. Then if we'll take that control and change its caption to equal This was it. Okay, so we're going to run this. It should work out fine. And there we are. This was it. See, it was command one. Now yeah, you can do this for, let's say, you want to change um, all controls. Now, the dot name is not the object. The object is you control each control, which is a control, but you're using dot name to get a string of it. So it's asking, what is the name of this um, control? And this said command one. If you wanted to figure out what object it was, then you would write it like this. If control each control is command one, then in the that's checking for if they are the same object, or excuse me, same control, but the same thing. So um, let's just go ahead and show an example of if you were making your program and, <coughs> and the program didn't fit the window properly. So what you would do is you would get so a ratio, like uh, what your program window was originally and then what the new size will be, and then you divide out this number uh, with the screen and you'll get a ratio. So you have, let's say, width is um, 1.25 and height is 1.55. So if you were to make your program work from one resolution to another, all it has to do is take these numbers and multiply it to all controls to make them fit the same screen size. So here would be an example. equal to itself and then just multiplied by that with the value that you had go ahead and run this and you can see that they have changed in size you could change the form simply by just saying form one, um, or you can use the me statement. Me dot height 
equals height dot 1.55 and then same for width equals width dot 1.25. Now the me references to this form. Um, you can only do that in the forms. You can't do that in like the modules or anything like that. Uh, okay, so now we're going to show you how to properly load and unload forms. So we go to the unload. Okay, first thing you want to do here is you can't put, let's go ahead and empty um, form. This is emptying the memory because you don't need this form anymore if you're really leaving. So what we do is set and then the form name, one equal nothing. That's how you properly unload it. So when you have a button to exit, I really do hate this recording software. It's almost like I should create my own. <laughs> I don't have the time for that though. Okay. So, I'm trying to remember what we do here. Oh, unload me. Now that will unload this form. Come on, go bigger. There we go. And extend this a little bit here. Okay. So we can't put set me equals nothing. Um, the problem is, is because one I remember if you just put me as it's unloading, it doesn't know what that reference is, so you can't use it here on the unload. But you can put the form name, which is form one. Um, you can unload here with me, though, in this case, because you say unload me because you're in the process of going here. And what this does is this exits your um, form. And ultimately, the program, if it's the only form. Now, as you see, when I run this, and I exit, the stop button and the pause button automatically go away. They're disabled. Um, that means that it actually ran fine. I went through the program and exited uh, well. There's no problems. Sometimes you'll see a stop and a pause button there still because you did not exit right. Um, you may have some variables you called from another form that explains that. That's why you avoid your public um, declaring in other forms. You declare it in a module. Okay, so that would be the correct way. And maybe you had a whole bunch of forms that said we're going to also do um, closing forms. Let's go ahead and show it real quickly. Another declare statement. Um, form. Let's just put form. As form. Now, what this would do. Each form in forms. Unload form. This would unload all forms. So right at the right at the time I run this, it should close. Perfect. Showing my example. Now, once this can be any form, again you can reference to anything. Um, or excuse me, use its properties and methods. Um, you should figure out what they are if you don't know them. Maybe you want to check for controls again on the inside or something. Um, change the name, whatever. But that's up to you. That's for another time for me. Okay, so that's going to do it for right now. Thank you.